Who's your favorite linebacker? <laughs> Tommy Eichenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your second favorite linebacker? Steel Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> CJ Hicks, too. I remember that. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about the kind of rhythm that you felt like you got in for high six catches. It felt like you, you looked like you were playing with confidence. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, um, we started off a little bit slower than we expected the run game, uh, you know, even the pass game. So we we're kind of just building that comfortability. It was kind of a feeling out process, I would say, for the first first quarter or so just to see because, you know, they had so many transfers and, uh, you know, just seeing with the scheme that they were going to run with this year compared to last year was, uh, like I said, a feeling out process. But, uh, yeah, I felt like I got a little bit of a rhythm. Like I said, the confidence definitely built it. And um, like I said, I'm just excited for our, our, our team as a whole to just continue to build week by week. I know it's early in the season, but given what you've been through, how's your body feel? Uh, it's actually really good. Uh, definitely no complaints. Uh, really happy with it. Just got to keep taking care of it. Yeah, yeah. what did y'all address? What have y'all addressed mainly this week so far, Jay, from the standpoint of getting that rhythm, getting that continuity back? Yeah, uh, definitely getting the rhythm is one thing, but our first goal was just to win the first game. So, uh, you know, we came out 1-0, and uh, this this week's just another week. we got to continue to prepare. we got to continue to build and just keep going. Yeah, and as you look at that opener, what was sort of missing, uh, like, you know, intermittently? Because obviously you all scored some points. <laughs> <clears throat> like I said, I think it was really just a feeling out process to start. Um, you know, they came in with a whole new squad, you know, a lot of transfers, I think over 20 transfers. Um, we only had their film from last year, and we played them so late in the year, so you never really knew what was going to happen if they were going to switch their defenses or their schemes schematically, whatever they were going to do. So it was uh, definitely, like I said, a feeling out process and uh, first game of the season for us. Has Kyle asserted himself even more this week as a starting quarterback? I mean, how does that work? between you guys and the starting quarterback? Uh, yeah, we, we build chemistry with both of them as the season goes on. Uh, right now, I think they're pushing each other to get better and better week by week and building each other into better leaders, better players, and uh, you know they're going to continue to both improve. Julian, Coach Day talked about week one, week two, you guys can make a big jump just in general. You've been here for a while. Have you seen that jump happen before, and what does that look like for an offense? You know, uh, he actually uh, brought that up on Tuesday in our meeting, and I definitely think it's one of the realest things. Uh, you know, coming into week one, and college football is every it's kind of a feeling out process like I said for every team because you never know what the other team's going to come with this like come in with uh, schematically or whatever but the second week you know you get to see one week of film you get to see what they're coming in with and you get to really prepare for that team what was it like seeing Carnell out there and we talked a lot about him in spring summer but his first game uh, what did you see from him? oh yeah no I think it was awesome for him uh, you know he's, he's come through he's put in all the work you know he's a freshman he doesn't act like a freshman doesn't carry himself like a freshman he's got a, he's got a really really bright future and I'm really excited for him I think he did really well. Uh, you know, he definitely showed some leadership qualities at times. And um, like I said, I, I thought it was a pretty good first game for him. Uh, a, lot, a lot to build on as a team, a lot to build on as him. And, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting. The, the leadership qualities, was that a vocal thing? Was that just kind of by, by his actions? Where did you see him? Uh, he's a little bit vocally, yeah, but just by his actions, you know, staying calm under pressure. You know, he threw a pick at one point and came back the next drive and just ready to go. So um, just, you know, seeing him, uh, you know, build that poise was really good. Julian, remember when I told you that Chip should play fullback? No. Well, I did, but he's doing a lot of different things out there. What does his, I don't know, versatility, toughness, what does that add to this offense? I think it adds a really, really dangerous aspect, you know, from a fullback standpoint to use him in the game. He could play tight end. He could play really any different position on the field. You saw him started out on defense. Now he's a running back. So I think Chip, you know, as a whole, he's, he's, he's a big guy. He's really short. He's really strong. Um, you know, sky's the limit for him. He's a really, really amazing athlete. He's fast. He's physical. You know, in all aspects of the game. You guys like 22 personnel. What does that give your offense? 22 personnel gives us a little bit more protection. Uh, it gets some other people in the game at different at different spots, and uh, you know, it really opens up. I'd say, uh, you know, pass game and stuff like that, just some more protection. How much do you like blocking as a receiver? Um. I don't mind blocking, you know, whatever's really going to help the team. And, you know, there's a challenge this week come up, you know, coming in and really asserting ourselves on the out, on outside on the perimeter. So it's going to be exciting. Um, hopefully we're going to be able to assert our dominance. we got really, really big receivers. We've got strong receivers, fast, physical receivers. So I'm really excited. I mean, I ask you that because I think there are a lot of people caught off guard by how run heavy uh, and, and some of the formations. Was that like a huge emphasis during camp or was that, no, nah, it's part of the playbook, we'll call it, we'll call it, and it happened to be early in the uh, you know, definitely. I think the running game really opens up the passing game, so we have to start our run game early. Uh, you know, our running backs, we want four yards every play, and if we can continue to do that, we're going to run the ball as much as we can. It's going to you know, uh, bring somebody down in the box, and it's going to open us up, uh, you know, later in, later in the game. Go, um, with, you, uh, you said coming out of the game that you felt good, but going into it, 
being healthy. I mean, this may sound obvious, but like, I mean, how much of a difference does that make for you? And how much were you able to feel going into the game that you were feeling good? Uh, honestly, it was it was really exciting. Um, you know, just going in, being pretty much 100%. Um, you know, first game, everybody's 100%. As the season goes on, everyone starts to play with some bumps and bruises and things like that. But, you know, coming in and just knowing that my body was where I wanted to be was really exciting, and I was I was really happy about it. You talked about how like when you weren't fully healthy, you couldn't be as physical as you wanted. Does that show up after the catch too? Like the one you had over the middle, you broke away for a few uh, extra yards after that. Like is that part of the physicality aspect? Of it? Uh, yeah, I definitely think so. And uh, you know, for the past couple of years, I haven't been able to use a stiff arm or anything like that. That kind of got out of my uh, got out of my arsenal. But I think it's uh, I think it's going to make its way back. I just got to constantly you know build my com my comfortability back with you know both of my shoulders and uh, just continue to improve. I mean, you were here a couple of years ago when CJ went through that first game or two and had to listen to what everybody was saying from the outside and, and trying to learn the process. What do you try to say to the guys, whether it's Devin, Kyle, whoever, of trying to keep everything in-house and not focus on all the things that are being said around them? Yeah, no, I definitely think that's thing. Like I said, it was his first game, and people are going to say what they want to say, but we kind of have a Woody, Woody versus everybody atmosphere. And uh, one of my favorite quotes that actually CJ said was, I don't want to prove anyone wrong. I want to prove everyone right that believed in me in the first place. So I think, uh, you know, if they just go out with that, that same attitude every single day, nothing could really bother you. Sorry if you've been asked this already. Were you surprised uh, that that ball from Kyle made it between those three defenders to you? I was surprised I didn't get hit. That was my uh, that was my big thing. Uh, you know, I saw it coming through, and I also saw the guy coming through, and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna get hit, so I gotta hold on to it regardless. And uh, you know, I don't know if I got lucky or what. That he just kind of kind of whiffed, and I just came to that little stop. But um, you know, it was a great ball by him. He threaded the needle, so I can't can't complain. So you played CJ this first game. That's a I could better turn that's a good ballsy throw to me as a first time starting quarterback. To see that throw specifically on camera, or I guess in, on your rewatch or film, whatever, you, you gotta be a little impressed with that one, right? Oh, yeah, no, I thought it was awesome. I love the aggressiveness. I love him coming out, like, I, with, just with that confidence and that edge that he really needed. And, um, you know, I, I thought it was great, and I can't wait for him to improve and just continue to do that. So, like, you guys started to get a rhythm when, you, when, you were, when he was throwing the ball down the field a little more. Did you guys feel that a little bit in the second half as. as as he trusted himself to throw the ball down the field, you guys all kind of got to do a better rhythm. Yeah, I definitely agree. So, um, like I said, that first half was more of a feeling out process than anything. It was just kind of hard, you know, not knowing what they're going to come in with schematically and knowing we were going to come in with schem uh, schematically. So, just, you know, as that first half went on, we saw what was going to come. We saw, uh, you know, all the plays that we thought we were going to like in the second half. And I feel like that really, you know, made everyone a lot more comfortable. Good. Appreciate y'all. Thanks. Is there anybody else?